Hey guys, Critical JRPG, and welcome back to Lunar Silver Star Story Complete. This is likely going to be the final stream. I'd say, like, yeah, definitely going to be a final stream. I'm finishing the game today. We are going to load up the game. We are in the Secret Garden. I uh, was having issues last time, so I had to go back and save. But, you know, it happens. Here we are. We may be having those issues again. Start my stream up and it's like... We're literally going to delay every second of your controls. Good start. We should be fine, but... No. I just started, I'm going to restart my stream. I apologize for this. I'll be right back. Working now like nothing. I don't know why this happens to me. Yeah, now it's working perfectly. Wow. Way to go, game. Alright, we're going to go on. We are in um the Secret Garden. We're level what? 40? Oh, I didn't mean to press that. I don't know why it always does that to me in the beginning of my streams. I had to do that with Persona 5 yesterday. But, um, yeah. Alright, we're gonna go up. We're gonna continue. I did start this area, but again, I was having issues. Yeah, last time I streamed, uh, I don't know why. It was really weird. So, uh, I had to go back to, uh, the garden. I, I put it on the YouTube video. So, for you guys on Twitch, I didn't stream it. I just put, like, a two or three minute recording to finish off the part naturally for YouTube. But for Twitch, it ended on a weird note. So, I apologize for that. Flash cut, and then we're going to Thunder Thrust. Hopefully, we don't have those same issues today. <laughs> I really want to beat Lunar. I want to play it. I want to enjoy this fantastic game while it lasts. And I don't want any issues. We'll see if that happens, though. get my dashboard up and running again. Oh, Mia leveled up. Nice. Jessica also. Awesome. I don't really know how much. I've been told that there's not much longer in the game, but I don't really know how long it's going to take me to beat it because I haven't been going through this game as fast as anyone else at times, so we'll see. From now on, when I start my streams, I'm going to have to make sure if it's uh, delaying my buttons and delaying my game from my computer to my screen, and then I'll start streaming. Because, like, it seems to be happening a lot more now. I really don't know why. It seems to be a new issue I have to be aware of. I don't know what could be causing it, though. Really odd. Nice 600 damage. Ow. Die. Come on, go down. Go down, go down. Got him. Alex's... Oh, and Alex's sword dance. Never mind. I could probably end him with a thunder bomb, so you know what? Do that. Yeah, Nash can probably finish him off. Oh, I can only hit one. Oh, no, it's Thunderbolt. My bad. Thunder bomb. Yeah. Everyone else just attack. Check this out. I was thinking the issue could be my HDMI splitter because the only difference between my setup of this game and Persona 5 is that I use a splitter to record PS3. You have to use what's called an HDMI splitter because you can't disable HDCP without that. There's no manual option to disable it. So you have to um, use a splitter to... Um, Disable HCCP. But that could have been the problem with it. Maybe it's something with my splitter because Persona 5 was fine yesterday. 
Like, Persona 5 worked fine yesterday, so I really don't know. It probably was something with my splitter, if I had to guess. I don't know, though. I have no clue what it could have been. But, um, hopefully it all goes well today. Check this out. I'd say if it takes like two and a half hours or three hours, that's a good time. I'd say the minimum it's gonna take at least two hours to finish the game. I don't think any less than that. Because we have to go through final boss. This is not the final dungeon. I've been told this is not the final dungeon, but this is pretty close to the final dungeon. After this dungeon, we just have a couple of stuff, like scenes to go through, and then the actual final dungeon, which I, which I'm told takes kind of not a while, but it isn't quick. So at least two hours, maybe at least two and a half hours. But I don't know. We'll see as we get farther. We'll see where I am. But I'm definitely finishing the game, even if it takes me six hours. I really hope it doesn't. Highly doubt it will take me six hours to finish the game. But if it does, so be it. No, I'll be, I'll be hungry. If it takes me six hours, I'm. If it takes me like more than if I'm if it's past five hours and I'm not done, I'm gonna have to stop. Cause I need to eat. Like I'm gonna be hungry by then. I did eat breakfast and lunch, but I do need to. I need to eat relatively early today. So if it takes too long, I will eventually. I will have to cancel the whole finishing the stream, finishing the game stream. But you know, stop. Leave me alone. I just want to find the exit, not the exit, but I kind of want to just figure out where to go and then I'll deal with these guys. I was here, right? Wasn't I here and then, um, this is where I, the problems occurred? I think this is where I was. Check this out. Check this out. Get him, Alex. Finish them all. Love that flash cut. So awesome. Or, better question. I When I played Persona 5 on... Before yesterday. So when I played on Tuesday... I want that chest, so I'm gonna fight you. But, um... When I played Persona 5 on Tuesday, the day after Lunar had the issues, I changed my USB port. For my Elgato because it has to connect to my computer via USB. I changed the USB port. So I don't know if that fixed it. I don't know, maybe it could have maybe it could have been my USB port. It was a chance. Highly doubt it, but I changed my USB port to see if that would fix the issue. It's been working better, but another thing is the HDMI Check splitter. I don't think it's the Elgato itself. Because if it was the Elgato, then Persona 5 would have had issues. Persona 5 had no issues yesterday and Tuesday. So it had to have, it has to be either my splitter or my port, the HDMI port. Not the HDMI. Have I been saying HDMI? USB port. Either way, yeah, USB port that I changed it and then it suddenly it's working now. It was either my splitter or my USB port. Or it was just that day had a loose connection, like one of the wires was not connected all the way in. So like the moving around of the everything kind of unconnected it maybe i don't know hopefully that was a one-time thing though insane helmet from um, kyle because alex has the dragon armor no it has it. i should have known i should have known yeah this is good for kyle give it to him I'm noticing something. Oh, up there. I was gonna say, this doesn't take me anywhere. I was gonna say this is just a treasure room, but nope, that's not the case. There is a right way to go, it looks like. I think, I'm aware. I see somewhere to go. If there's no, if there's a direction there, then I'm, my um, deduction was wrong. By the power of Athena. Check this out. Flash cut. Nice. 
I, I was afraid that armadillo thing was going to do some kind of crazy attack, so I tried to end it as fast as possible. But, you know, I did what I could. Just right away. It brings me somewhere else. Let's go. How are you on levels, Alex? Oh, you just got 42. You won't be getting 43 for a good while. That's fine. The level rate's going a lot faster. I'm leveling up a lot faster now. Honestly? Yeah, just attack. I don't want to waste all your mana. I'm sure I have Starlight. I don't remember, but I think I do. Either way, Mia and Jessica are perfect on mana. So is Kyle. I'm just going to conserve their mana. So I don't have to worry about that later. Check this out. Nash and Alex are the only ones I really need to get healing mana, heal their mana. And I'm just gonna have to buy it. I'm gonna buy a bunch of Starlights before the final dungeon, because I can imagine probably no save points or anything. Even though I was surprised this dungeon gave me an Alphina statue to heal at in the middle of it. I was very surprised. And someone told me from last stream that um there were five things that were the length of dungeons. But also, they use the term dungeon loosely. I don't know why I remember specifically why they use it use loosely, but, um, yeah, it happened. So, they said, before the grindery, I was on the first one. This is the second one. So, apparently, there's three more of these loose dungeons. But, honestly, a dun when they said that, they could mean, like, cutscenes included. Like, three more scenes in the game left. But, I don't know. I honestly don't, it's hard to tell what they meant, because, you know, it was a very vague way of telling me how long I have. Is it gonna come after me? I hope not. Please, go away. I'm trapped, I have to fight you. But, um, yeah, it was a very vague description of how, um, close I am to the game, so I wouldn't, I'm not relying on that too much. It, it was nice of him to, um, it was nice of them to tell me that. But, um, I'm not gonna rely too much on that, because that is a it was a very vague description. I'm just gonna kinda see, and I can probably tell when I'm coming to the end. I usually can tell in RPGs. Honestly, I could- this looks like the end. I could- I, I thought this would be the end, but then I was told it's not, so... I have- I don't have any, um, more thoughts that this is the end. If no one told me anything, I would believe this is the final dungeon. I don't know, you know. By the way, um, yesterday I finished FF9 for the very first time. Got to say, pretty good game. Not one of my favorite Final Fantasies. Like, it's still a fantastic game. The music and the setting were absolutely phenomenal. And I really did like Zidane, Garnet, and Vivi as characters. Especially the end game. I feel like the end game went, like, a complete different direction like i felt like the story did take a while to get interesting but the end when they started talking about kuja and zidane and their um relationship it got me it was it was pretty good it was like the beginning to the mid beginning of the middle wasn't as interesting like disc one and disc two particularly they were fine but they didn't really have anything to hell when it came to story that interested me and the other characters were just there they never really felt like anything special to me Barnet, Zidane, and BB were amazing characters, though. And, um, Battle System was good. I do like ATB, of course, because, you know, FF8, FF7, FF10 too. But, um... I wasn't a fan of Trance. Trance was, like, the replacement for Limit Breaks. Check this out. I didn't really like Trance that much. I don't know, it wasn't bad, but Trance was just, like... I just didn't really like it as much as I like, um... What's it called? Like, the way you use limits in FF8 and FF7 seem a lot more easy. I feel like trance is, like, really hard. It's really hard to get your trance. So, even with the ability high tide, it's really hard to get trance. So, I felt like trance... I wasn't really a fan of trance. But trance is good. I just think other Final Fantasy games have better limit break mechanics. I'm sure that was, like, the replacement for limit break. But I did like how, like, VV got double black magic for his trance. I don't remember what Garnet got, but the trances were good. I did like how they had other bonuses besides the strong limit breaks. I don't know, I just wasn't a fan of it as much as, um, the other mechanics in Final Fantasy games. It was still good, though. And, uh, I really liked the abilities, like, equipping weapons and learning abilities from them. That was really cool. I also liked how it wasn't, like, FF8 and FF7, where it was, like, Every character can do everything. Everyone was designated to a certain class. I did like that. 
that was a nice change of pace. It was a good game, surely. I, I just think I like other Final Fantasies more than it. And the story could have been a little better in the beginning. It got better at the end. The setting was beautiful. Like, the way it went back to classic fantasy medieval times. I love that. And the music was great. It was a pretty good game. And I'll definitely play it on the channel at some point. I'll come back to it. But I think the next game I'm going to do on my channel is either FF6. Because I never played 6 before. Despite hearing many good things about Final Fantasy 6. I want to play Final Check Fantasy 6 finally. And uh, I also want to... I want to do 10. I want to do 10 on the channel, but uh, after 10, I'm going to go into my 10-2 New Game Plus, which will be like my Redux. But I want to do FF10 before 10-2's Redux. 10-2's New Game Plus. I want to do 10-2 New Game Plus, but I feel like I should do 10 first, because I didn't get to show off 10 yet. So I think it's going to be... 6 or 10 is going to be my next game. One of the two, I'm not sure. And I'll eventually I'll get to 12 and 9 and... Maybe I'll go back to like older ones, like one, the, the, the original three or the four, you know. I can really go anywhere with these games. But yeah, we'll see. I love Final Fantasy. I'll be, um, I'm gonna work on getting all the games. Can't guarantee all the games, but I'm gonna work on getting, actually no. I will get all the games on the channel at some point. I don't know when that will be, but um, we'll see. I don't know who this is for. Mia, maybe? Who wears ribbons? Could be for Jessica. Or Mia, I really don't know. Ba, 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 ba. I forgot how good this theme is. Oh, it was for Mia. We're gonna give it to her then. Yeah, it was for Mia. It was for both of them. But you know what? Mia's good. Alright. Oh, we at the end? This looks like the end. I'm gonna save my game. Oh, no, I have to heal my mana and HP first. Alright. Well... Give some healing nuts to them. Oh, I didn't notice that. They turn their backs when they can't have any more items. It's very interesting. I like that. Keep those. Give that to Gnaw. That to Gnaw. Yeah. That to Gnaw. And then give some of these to Alex. I like that. That's really cool. Oh, look at these starlights. I'm gonna start using them. Alright, only on Alex and Nash, though. Maybe Nash will use a silver light. One starlight for Mia. Why not? And then... Nash, I think a silver light is better. And one more on Mia. Alright, we're good. I'm gonna give some to the party, actually. Give this to Gnaw. Oh, I can't give the Ocarina to Gnaw. Or is he maxed? You have a Starlight. Oh, I can't give the Ocarina to Gnaw. Alright, noted. I'm gonna give some of these to Mia. I'm gonna be prepared for this boss. Assuming we're gonna fight one, because we didn't fight one yet. Alright, we're good. 